Hello and welcome. We are Three Sides of the Cube. I'm Landon. And I'm Pat. We're here today with a combat patrol mission that we want to bring to you guys. Necrons versus... Adeptus Mechanicus. Yeah, it's going to be good. I'm excited. These are two of our favorite armies that we play pretty often. Uh, we love to play. Um, we are going to be playing uh, the mission. Invasive Attack is the first Eternal War mission in the uh, core rulebook. Yep, we're keeping it simple today. Playing this mission, it's going to be awesome. Uh, we've got four objective markers here on the battlefield that you'll see here in a bit. Um, and then each of us have picked, picked secondaries out of that same Eternal War book. Yes, uh, my first uh, secondary objective is First Strike, which means I have to kill the model in the kill a unit in the first turn, as well as slay the Warlord. Um, I gotta kill his Warlord this game to get points. Mm -hmm. And then finally, a secondary from the Mechanicus rulebook, it's called Hidden Archaeovolt. Uh, I get points for controlling an objective marker on the battlefield that he chooses. Uh, the center here, so I gotta be able to control that objective. I get points for controlling it during and at the end of the game. It's pretty good. I like it when I get the choice. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Uh, Necrons also picked out some secondaries. We also took one from our uh, Codex book called Purge the Vermin. Uh, for every table quarter that uh, there are no enemy models, we can score one victory point at the end of our turn. Uh, pretty good, so we're going to be trying to pick off uh, those table quarters and then protect our own so that he can't get inside of it to score those points. Uh, we're going to be engaging all on all fronts. We've got a couple of units that can move a little bit fast. We're going to try to be in all table quarters causing trouble. And then the last one is domination. So at the end of our turn, if we control more objectives than our opponent, we can score three points. Pretty good. Uh, so those are the secondaries for the Necrons. We're excited to play. Let's get to it. So we are now going to deploy armies. Um, Landon won the defender role and he chose this side of the board. And so he's going to deploy his first unit. Go ahead. Okay. We're going to take a 10-man unit of Necron Warriors. These are our troop choices. And we're going to place them right here on this objective. These guys have the Gauss Flayers, which is the Strength 4 weapon, not the Reapers, which is the Strength 5. Okay. And I'm going to deploy my 10-man unit of Rangers. They do have an Omnispect, which allows them to shoot into dense terrain, dense cover, I mean, and, uh, not, and the enemy does not get that. All right. We've got our Overlord here. Uh, this is going to be our Warlord. Um, he has a Warlord trait of a plus one toughness, so he's going to be a toughness six model. Pretty hard to kill. Okay. I'm going to place my tank oh boy. right here behind some cover. And that tank is armed with a uh, ferrite cannon rather than the Belisarius energy cannon. So these are going to be a five-man unit of death marks. Um, I like death marks. They have the rule on their data sheet where they can ignore the lookout sir ability. So uh, they're going to be trying to snipe some characters. And I will place my only character back here behind cover. But I can't get shot at. <laughs> uh, we've got a three-man Scorpec warriors here. They're going to be placed inside this building. And I'm going to place my five-man unit of rust walkers, and they are armed with blades. Over here on the left side, we're going to have some scarab swarm units. Uh, the good thing about them, they're not very tough. They don't really do that much damage, but they are quick. Then I will place my final unit, the Skitari Vanguard, and they have a data tether, and a arc rifle. Other than that, that's all they have. I am fully deployed. And my last model is going to be a Chronomancer, so two characters we're playing today. Um, he is equipped with the Veil of Darkness Relic, which lets himself and a core unit uh, Link off the board and come back uh, as like a deep strike nine inches away. 
uh, anywhere on the battlefield. Uh, pretty useful. And with Eternal War Conflict, we are both given a free relic and a free uh, Warlord trait, both of which are on my Katari Marshal. He has Exemplar Eternity, allows units to uh, reroll ones on hits and wounds. As well, uh, for his Warlord trait, you can pick a unit and they get plus one to cover, such as Light Cover. All right. Okay, um, let's see who has the first turn. Here we go, here's our roll off. Two, uh, two for Adeptus of Kazi, one for Necrons. Hmm. So your choice. That is a toughie. I think I will go first. All right, turn one, Adeptus Mechanicus. Mm, yes. Second thoughts? <laughs> I'm just trying, I got greedy here. I'm thinking of my secondaries here real quick. Okay. Um, you know what, I think I will go second. Okay. I changed my mind. One, I will go second. <laughs> All right, turn one, Necrons, we'll take it. All right, uh, so turn one. We get pre-game battle abilities, if we have any. Yes, yeah, so this will be the time where we can spend stratagems or any abilities. Um, uh, I am going to be the uh, Mephrit Dynasty, which is, if you're within half range, gives extra AP. Uh, the other faction that I, Dynasty that I really like to take is the one that gives you the pre-game move, uh, but we're not going to play that one today. So no pre-game abilities for myself. How about you? Um, I have no pre-game battle abilities, but uh, my army is Forge World of Mars, which allows me to get a free reroll on one hit per unit. As well, um, all Skatari models get both Canticles and Doctrine Imperative, which all my models on the board are Skatari. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so, turn one. Uh, you go ahead and read your Canticle. Yes, I'm going to play my Canticles and Doctrine Imperative. And I think I'll do Protector Imperative. This improves my ballistic skill by one, but it reduces my weapon skill by one. Ooh, okay. Furthermore, I think I will do Invocation of the Machine Vengeance. While this can't is active, each time an advance roll or charge roll is made for this unit, roll one additional d6 and discard the lowest. And then do you have anything? So Claire? we're going to do our protocols here. Okay, here we go. Uh, so for turn one, we, we've selected our protocol of Sudden Storm. So for the whole of round one, we can add one inch to the move characteristic of models in our unit, and they can perform actions and still shoot without the action failing. Uh, so we want that for turn one for our extra movement. So here we go. All right, so uh, turn one Necrons. We're going to do some things in our command phase here. Um, we gain a CP on turn one, correct? Correct. Okay, so we're going to go up one. Um, our overlord here is going to give uh, Thy Will Be Done to the warriors here. It's going to give them a plus one to hit on their shooting attacks. Um, and then we are going to select our Chronomancer. Um, he is going to give out a five up invuln save on the death marks here that he is close by. So these guys are going to have a five up invuln. Uh, for their saves. Um, and that's all I have for the command phase, so let's get to the movement phase. It is noted during this mission we have sticky objectives, so once you control it, it remains in your control until the enemy takes it, even if your models are not there. Nice. Alright, we're going to move up on this point here, just barely kind of touch into it with these scarabs. Um, I like where our death marks are currently at the moment, um, our warriors. Mm -hmm. I have a 24 inch range, so they're going to move a little bit just so that they can get that. Uh, the Overlord here also has a Relentless March. It's just an aura ability. It's going to give an additional one inch to the movement of models around him. So our slow five inch movement is going to turn into a seven inch movement on these warriors. So let's move up so we can get some shots. Start shooting some stuff. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
We're not going to move all the way off this objective. We're just going to kind of move some of these models here. Maybe a little bit more. Keep our uh, coherency. And then our overlord is just going to scoot up a little bit as well. Moving over here to our Scorpex. You can't really see them, but they're hiding inside this building. They're going to be trying to do the same thing. Their 8 inch movement turns into 9 inches uh, from our protocol, so they're just going to be barely able to tow into this objective over here. They are infantry, so I have that breachable keyword. Whoa. Watch the pokey bits. Alright, here we go. That's our movement. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be able to get engaged until later, uh, until we get more in those table quarters. Uh, but we're trying to jump up and grab some objectives for points. Alright. Psychic phase. We're not going to be seeing much of that in this game. Nope. <laughs> no psychers for both armies. Uh, make it a little quicker. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We're going to go straight to the shooting phase. We're going to... Uh, select our Necron Warriors here on the first target. It looks like we only have three models within range. So, we're going to take three dice here. Um, hitting on twos, because of that will be done. Um, no re-rolls. Okay, we have a strength four weapon against toughness three. 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 So here we go, one on threes. We have two wounds at minus one AP. Minus one AP. Yep. I have a four up save, it turns to a five up save. Looks like I have a five and a three, so one is saved. Okay. One is killed. So I'm going to take him off the back here and put him in my area of death. <laughs> All right, we do. Chronomancer does have a weapon here, but I believe he's going to be out of range. Um, it's going to be an 18 inch weapon. Uh, I don't want to stick him out there right now, so we're going to call that good for him. And the only other shooting weapons where we have is going to be the Death Marks. And so these guys have a 36 inch range and one shot apiece. So here we go. Let's see, do we want to target here? So he did hide his guys, we can't really see him. I think we're going to still try to pick off some more units over here in the same unit. So, it's going to be five shots. This guy's ballistic skills are two. All hit. And for the wound roll, strength five, we're looking for threes. Um, on this specific weapon, the synaptic disintegrator, sixes on the wound roll do a mortal wound. We really like that. So here's hopefully we get some sixes. We got two of them there, uh, but also two fails. So we have three regular wounds at minus one AP and two mortals in addition. Okay, so I need five again. I didn't get a single one, so I had a total of five guys that died. Yeah, first blood. <laughs> okay. So that did a pretty good job taking me out. Okay. All right, so that's all our models that are gonna be shooting right now. So let's go ahead and move on to the morale phase. Well, yeah, charge phase, nothing's going to happen. And no so, charging today. And no fighting. So morale phase, I lost six guys. They have a leadership of seven, but with the data tether, it is eight. So, let's see, I lost seven guys. I still need a one in order to pass this. There oh, we got, got it. They're fine. They're they ready got for one. battle. They're fine. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's scared today. All right, uh, end of one. Let's see. We've got purge the vermin here for end of point, end of turn scoring. Um, that's going to give us these two table quarters, so two points. Uh, we did not score anything on engage in all fronts for this turn. Oh, we forgot in the pregame battle abilities which um, objective I have to control. Oh yeah. Um, let's say this one for sure. Okay, we're going to have you fight them, Scorpex, for it. Okay, we were supposed to do that pre-game battle ability, but we forgot. But there's only two to choose from, really. Yep. Because he can't do it in his objective, um, and he's definitely not going to give it to me, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. 
Uh, the only other thing I'm going to score is uh, the domination. Um, we do control three objective markers at the end of my turn, not the round. So that's three points. Okay. All right. Turn one, Adeptus Mechanicus. Okay. So, um, in my command phase, I'm first going to do this with uh, my Warlord trait, which allows these guys nine inches. I declare these guys. They will get the extra cover ability, which gives them uh, plus one if they're in light cover. Nice. Uh, and if they're not, they will be in light cover. Uh, furthermore, <laughs> these guys are close enough that I'm going to take away the negative to their doctrine imperative, so they do don't get that negative to their weapon skill. Okay. And don't need to give those guys command uplink because they already have a data tether. Though I did, I would. Alright, so now we move on to movement. We're going to first start with those three guys over here. I need to get them to that objective, so I'm going to roll dice. Because of my canticle, I get an extra dice and I choose the highest. Looks like I get five inches. Alright. So it gives me an 11 inch. And that will get me just on there. And they do have objective secured. Nice. So they will steal that away from your guys. No. Furthermore, I am going to scooch my tank over this way. Scooch, is that a technical term for the Adeptus Mechanicus? It is a hover tank. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. I move there. 16, so I need an 8 inch charge. I think I will try and go for that. So these guys have an 8 inch movement. Mm, I think we're going to see some fighting. Mm. And if that was, I don't get any negative to moving through terrain because the rust walkers. Yeah. Uh, we didn't talk about terrain. Let's see that real quick. Uh, these three objective, or these three terrain pieces here are all industrial terrain, so they're giving dense terrain. Dense cover. Uh, dense cover. Uh, these are ruins. Uh, they give light cover. Yep, and are obscuring. And then these little crates all throughout the battlefield are going to give light cover for those guys that are close by. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. All right. Yes. Okay. So. Oh, gotta get myself a CP here. Okay, so. First things first, hmm, the fire two, 15 inch range, that's not going to give me enough. Okay, so, uh, the rangers, I'm going to declare a target, we'll be shooting these guys. Okay. And they are within nine inches of this guy. Wait. We, we are going to use a stratagem as they're selected as a target. This is one of my favorite stratagems for destroyer units, so it's called Whirling Onslaught. And it costs one CP, and it's going to minus one to your wound roll uh, for this whole phase. And you can use it in multiple phases, just not on multiple units in the same phase. Yes, and unfortunately I forgot that this relic is only good within six inches, so they do not get rerolls for their ones. Okay, I'm sorry, what was that? So minus one to the wound roll for uh, those that unit specifically for this entire phase. Okay. Sounds good. So I got 10 shots going into this unit. And those are heavy two weapons, so that is 20 shots. So I'll count up 20 dice. My ballistic skill is activated, so they need to hit on twos. Fortunately, I do not get to re-roll re ones because I was a dummy. I didn't move him. So, got four that missed. So, I got 16 going in to wounds. Uh, what's your toughness? Toughness five. On this yes. Five. I have strength four, which I need fives, but it's negative to wounds, so I need sixes now. All right. Let's see him. Let's see, I got one, two, three sixes. Okay. Minus one to your save, and you do not get the benefit of light cover. Okay. So minus one, that means we're going to be looking at uh, four ups here uh, on three dice. Looks like we failed one of them. 
How many wounds those guys have a piece? They have three wounds a piece. Mm. So let's give a little wound marker here, and he's got two wounds left. Okay. Well, I'm going to start next with my tank. He's going to shoot all of his shots. How many wounds do your scarabs have? Scarabs have four wounds a piece. Mm. So you're looking at uh, 12 wounds total for that unit. And how many wounds do these guys have? One wound apiece. One wound apiece? I think we'll target that guy, those guys. Okay. They do get a benefit of minus one to hit. So, we'll first start off with my main cannon. I need threes now to hit. And two of them missed. That's a bummer. Followed by... What's your toughness? Toughness five. Toughness five is a strength eight. I need threes. I got a five. Okay. So minus three to your save. Okay. Uh, uh, normally that would be a six up, but our Chronomancer gave these guys a five up invul. So let's see if we can get it. No. Okay, that is three damage. So one guy's dead. Blows one guy off the board. Okay, the next he's going to fire his missile launcher. See how many shots he gets? He gets one shot. Oh, is that worth a CP reroll? Hmm. You know, I think it is. All right. Three shots. It's a little better. A little better. So now I need threes and one miss. Two well, don't forget your Mars uh, reroll. Oh, you're right. Thank you so much. Mars allows me to get a free reroll. I forgot that in those guys shooting, but yeah, it wasn't much. So here's a hit. That is a hit. So I got three hits and I need threes. I got one that misses. I use my reroll, so I got two at minus two. Minus two, that's going to be our five up involved again. Oh, that is a one and a two, guys. Not going to happen. And that's uh, D3 damage each, so one and three. So okay. two die. Two die. Okay. Is that all your shots from the... Nope, I still have all some right. stubbers to shoot. We might kill off the unit. Here we go. So, again, I need threes. Ooh, got quite a few ones and twos. Okay, I got six that hit. Cockeye there. Okay, so I got one that missed. What's your, I'm sorry, what's your toughness? Toughness five. Five. Ooh, I need fives. So three of them hit normal save. That would be a three up. Oh, all sixes. All right. Okay, that doesn't do that. Save on that one. All right. Okay. Is that all your shots? No, I have a couple more shots. Some more shots. It's so good. Tanks are awesome. So now we Oh, no, from this unit. From that unit. So we're going to react, we're going to activate our reanimation protocols. It happens when that unit is completely done shooting and he hasn't wiped out the whole unit. So he had three models that died. They come back on fives and sixes. Come on, nothing. So they stay dead. Cool. Okay, continue shooting. All right, um, I'm going to start with this unit. Um, the don't believe I could use that arc rifle because that is a rapid fire weapon. I advanced, but I do have two of my. Uh, radar weapons that can't shoot and those guys are still within 18 inch range so I'm going to target that same unit see if I can't pick them off here and sixes will auto wound and reroll for Mars we one reroll for Mars yes thank you and then two will miss so I got three more that have to hit on fives and I got two more so I have three normal saves we saved all but one. Same unit? Yes. Okay. And that is all I can shoot with that unit. All right, here we go on our reanimation roll. No. Okay. Well, so your guys take leadership saves? Um, they do. Uh, they do have a leadership 10. So uh, with four guys gone rolling a six, I would still be fine. Ah, bummer. High leadership for Necrons. It's pretty good. Mm, okay. Well. But on these 10-man units, it definitely 10 or 20-man units, it can come into play. Okay, so, well, in order to get first strike, i got to kill these destroyers. That's going to be a tough job for these guys. All right, we're going to move into charge phase. And uh, these guys will charge into them. And I still have that canticle active, so I get an extra dice for my charge. And I believe I need an 8. I do need an 8. All right. And I got Ooh, a 10. A 10. Get in there. The 
full unit. Perfect. Are we charging over here at all? No, they are staying put. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll start with this unit here. Um, I will spend a CP. What, what is their toughness? It's toughness five. Toughness five, I guess. Strength five. And I'm probably going to use that whirling onslaught stratagem again, just so you know. What does that do again? Uh, minus one for the wound roll. Let's go ahead and take that out now. So going out in two CP, uh, minus one on the wound roll for the fight phase. Okay. I'm going to spend one CP to give those guys an extra attack because they did charge. Uh, that stratagem is called uh, Assassin's Constructs because they are, it's only good for Sicarians, which they are. And then I will spend one more for Machine Superiority. Uh, use this stratagem in the fight phase when a guitar unit from your army is like to fight. Until the end of the phase, add one to the strength characteristic of that model. So, instead of fours, it will now take threes to wound. And with that stratagem he just played, it will now require fours again. Okay. Okay. So, these guys have four, four, Okay, the weapon skill is three, so I need three. Again, we roll one for Mars. For Mars! That's a hit. Looks like we had a few that missed. Mostly they hit. Okay, now I need fours, and sixes will cause, in addition, mortal wounds. Ooh, I got four sixes. That's very nice. And I got five. Let's keep that CP. So I have a total of nine saves at minus three. Minus three. Okay, that's going to put those guys on a six up. Here we go. Whoa. We have one, two, three, four sixes. Okay. How many wounds? Uh, and that's going to be five wounds with four mortals, right? Yes. So, so that's a total of nine. So hang on a sec. Let's do this. One guy dead, right? Mm hmm. Two guys dead, then three guys dead. Yeah, that's going to be good. Okay. That's very good. Okay. Now we move on to morale phase. We'll consolidate these guys just a little. Sorry, before I bore off, I'm going to consolidate these guys. So they're hiding behind cover a bit. Uh, morale phase, you already said that that guy does not take morale. Leadership 10 down to 6, and 6 will pass it. Okay, yeah, let's score up the round here. I did get first strike. Da -da -da. And let me read that one to make sure there's no additional points. And scored three to exploit for more any units. If I killed two units, I would have gotten more points. But it's just five points. Three, five. All right. And then Hideo Ar Hidden Archeo Vaults. I do get that. It is two points. Two points. All right. Pretty good. <coughs> All right. Go ahead. Okay. Round two. Um, let's change our uh, protocols and our... Ketticles. Ketticles for the round. Okay. So we're going to be activating Protocol of the Ventral Stars. Um, so two things that happen. Uh, each time a model in this unit makes a ranged attack, an unmodified wound roll of six increases the armor penetration by one. And each time a unit makes a ranged attack within half range, you do not receive the benefits of cover. Uh, so that's what we're going to activate for this round. And that no benefit for cover, that's no all. No benefit for cover if you're within half range and sixes are additional AP. Hmm. It's a little nasty. Okay. Well, we're going to activate my Doctor Imperative's Bulwark Imperative. It improves my save characteristics of all my models by one, but lowers my movement by three inches. So they're going to be slow, but good saves. And then uh, Benedict of the Messiah. 
That allows me to reroll one hit roll, one wound roll, and one damage roll. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go to command phase. Well, first thing, we oh, gotta yeah. score your points. Oh yeah, let's score primaries. And this sits uh, control one, control two, control more. I'm afraid you do not control. You only control one objective. The other three I control. So he gets five points. Okay. All right. Let's get going here. We're gonna do the Chronomancer is gonna give the five invuln to the warriors this time. Um, and then we're going to do Thy Will Be Done also to the Warriors. We're going to be buffing up those guys and hoping they do some damage this turn. Um, oh, and we I get a CP for the turn. I already gave it to Oh, yep. Went from two to three. I get two. Oh, I don't do that yet. Let's see. Hmm, I think we're going to be moving this way just a little bit. Six inches. Okay, and then our these are our sticky objectives, so we're gonna leave from this objective, move over here, and um, this guy has an 18 inch gun, so we're gonna go ahead and fly flies and he has that keyword, so he's gonna go down there. Our scarabs are just going to come up here, about an inch away, staying out of engagement, and see what they can do there. All right, um, no psychic phase. We're going to go to the straight to the shooting phase. <laughs> All right, we're going to activate this unit here. Um, toughness of your rust stalkers there? It's three. Three. All right, so we're going to pay for one CP. Um, I think the stratagem is called Disintegration Capacitors. I will put that on the screen uh, for you guys. If it's wrong, uh, on sixes, it's going to generate an additional hit. So it's only one CP. And I think everybody is within half range here. So we're going to have 20 shots. Do not get the benefit of light cover because he has that thing activated, which is bad because my Rust Walkers would get an additional point for saves in light cover. Alright, so we got 20 shots. Uh, plus to skill 3, but because of that will be done, we're hitting on 2s. Okay. Here we go. Do -do 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 -do. No ones, which is great. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I get seven dice for me, please? Sure. Thank you very much. All right, and now we are wounding on threes. Taking out all the ones and twos. Another one there, another one. And twos. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's fifteen. That's gonna be fifteen at minus uh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah, minus two AP. Minus two AP. Okay. Because my dark is active, they would get a three up save, but minus two it goes to their invuln save. I got 15. And five of them. Okay. Ooh, that was terrible. I got one save out of all that. Oh boy. That means the unit is gone. So add them to my dead pile. Burr, burr, burr. All right. We're purging those vermin. Um, only other shot we've got here is from our Chronomancer. And he's going to take a shot here at these guys on the subjective. Okay. 
Don't shoot very often with this guy. Alright, so he has an Assault D3 weapon. That's going to be two shots. Um, he's hitting on threes. That's a one and a four. Let's go ahead and CP reroll that. So we're going to go down to one CP. Alright, two fours. So two hits. Uh, strength five to toughness three. We need threes. That's two wounds at minus two AP. One damage. Minus two AP. So um, they have a three up save, which turns into a five up save. Two, you said? Yep. Both missed. One so. damage. Okay, so that leaves the boy. Uh, I gotta keep one guy here, it doesn't really matter who. Keep the guy with the arc rifle. Okay. I guess we do have our one lone death mark up here as well. Okay. Um, yeah, let's see if we can shoot one of these guys here. Okay. Uh, ballistic skill two. That's a one. So no. You just camp out there, buddy. You're doing good. All right, uh, no more shooting. Let's go to the charge phase. I'm going to declare a charge from the scarab swarms to here. Go for it. Hey, they got a ton of four. Okay, uh, and that's all, really. Okay, go for it. Okay, these guys are going to have uh, four attacks apiece. Um, these guys' weapon skill is a four up. Uh, but for every six they score, it's an auto wound. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Get on auto. No sixes. All right. Uh, strength three to toughness three. So these are on fours. All wound. Regular save. Regular save. That's a three up save. And I missed one. I am going to spend my CP to reroll that. Uh -oh. And it saves. So it nice. Saves. He stays alive, and because he has objective secure, he's going to hold on to that um, objective marker. Okay. Um, leadership wise, um, he has that unit, he has a six, but with the Omnis, uh, with the data tether, it is seven. So minus two. I need anything but a six. Dang it, I rolled a six. So he runs away, he's gone. All right. Wait, I still have to attack back, but... Oh yeah, let's do your fights. Uh, no, it doesn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well. So, uh, end of the round. We are going to score uh, two points on Purge of Vermin. Um, still not getting him engaged in all fronts. Well, one, two... Um, no, I have to be wholly within that table quarter, so no. Uh, domination, we are going to score three points again because I hold two objectives and you hold one. That is correct. All right. All right. Uh, beginning of my phase, I only control one objective. I did not start the command phase with this, so I do not get sticky, so it is unowned right now. Okay. All right. So five points. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... We're going to start with my command phase, and we're going to take away my rangers negative to the doctrine imperative, and that is it. So, movement. They are going to run six inches. I control this objective now. Are they all heavy weapons? They are heavy weapons, but okay. I'm not advancing, so they're just moving. Okay, good. And then my tank, i try and move as close as I can to you boys. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Still gonna stay real. My um, Scutari Marshal is going to advance six inches. 
minus three for that movement, so he's only going to go nine. As tempting as it was, I think I'm actually just going to stay right here and cover. Okay. Uh, now we're going to move on to shooting phase. Um, I'm going to start with my rangers shooting at those scarabs. Okay. Actually, no. Let's start with the tank shooting at said scarabs. Start with the main cannon. I need threes. I missed one, but I get a reroll one for Mars. So I'll hit. And I do. Uh, what's your toughness? Toughness three. Okay, I need twos. I did miss one, but I'm going to use my canticle reroll. And I missed it again. So, two at minus three. Uh, no save. They have a four up save. And that's three damage each. Okay, so that's going to kill a whole model. Okay. And then the missile launcher. How many shots do I get? I get four. Okay, I need threes. I got them all. All by strength of seven. Toughest three, you said? Yep. So I need twos again. And I missed one, and I already used that reroll, so I can't use it again. And that is three. Minus two. So six ups. Come on, nothing. Okay. One damage piece. Hang on, D3. Oh, D3, okay. That's one. I'm going to reroll that one okay. because of my canticle. So out of CP. So, no, no. Oh, for my canticle. Oh, because of the canticle. That's right. That's Still right. one, so one move. Okay. So we go down to three. Second one. That is two. Okay. Comes down to one. And then the last one. Three. Let's so kill the model. Okay. Very good. All right. Is, is that all of his shots? That's all of his shots. Okay. So we're going to reanimate. Uh, it doesn't happen very often with multi-wound bottles, but it's still worth a roll. Here we go. Five ups. One, two, that's it. So nothing comes back. Cool. All right. I don't think I can target those guys because this is scaring, correct? Correct. Okay. So I'm going to shoot them all. Hmm. Well, actually, let's see here. We have our little... There's a corner frame here. I think you might get a couple shots in. You want to target the warriors, right? Correct. Yeah, I would say you have four models that can see just the edge of that guy there. Okay, four models there. And I can't target the characters. Nope, they have lookout, sir, uh, because the warriors are still closer to you. Okay, and then I will target the rest of my shots on this guy up here. Okay. So, six guys. So, four guys. Shooting at warriors. I need um, threes. I'm going to reroll one of those for Mars, and I'm going to reroll the other one for my cannon. Okay, both those hits, so I missed one. Toughness? Four. I need four. So. Yeah, just a few. I'm going to reroll one of those for my chemical. Nope. So, five at minus one. Five at minus one. I'm pretty sure these guys. Yep, a four up save. Uh, so minus one, it's going to be five. Uh, five of those, you said? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two. So two of those are saved. Three of those are not. So I'm going to pull one, two, and three. Okay, let me finish their shots, and then we'll see if those guys come back. Okay, there's a death mark right there. It is minus one to hit. And I already used all my rerolls. Okay. Okay, followed by toughness five. Five. Need fives. And I got three of them at minus one. Four up saves? No, nothing. All three of those failed. Excellent. Uh, and he's not gonna be able to reanimate because he's cause the unit okay. is wiped out. Okay, see if those warriors reanimate. Alright. So three dice. Uh, one of them comes back and two of them don't. So we're gonna go ahead and reanimate. 
to stay right in here, I think. Okay. All right. That is it for my shooting. Because he's got, um, he's got 18 inch range gun. Let's see if it hit. Oh, it... Nope. He's got range. All right. Um, charging. I'm going to see if I can't charge my Skitaris into those guys. Okay. That's what do I need? Looks like you need a seven. Seven. That's pretty good. Here we go. Oh, two dice. Yeah, <laughs> two dice. Seven Three. Nine. That's not enough. I am going to use my reroll. Okay. Here we go. Seven it is. Oh, exactly. There we go. And my tank will stay out of combat. I thought you were just gonna like run him over there. Mow him down! <laughs> tempting, tempting, very tempting. Although it's a hovercraft, so would it actually mow him down? <laughs> it's only hovering a few inches. <laughs> it just float right over. Okay, and um, go into combat, fight phase. Okay. I'm going to pile in. Get as many of these guys as humanly possible into combat. Looks like all of them I can get in there. Okay. I got them surrounded, boys. Okay, that is. Let's see, I have an extra attack. I can't remember what the. Yes, he does. So that's 11 attacks. And did I give him a weapon? I don't think I did. Nope, he has no weapon. So it's all normal attacks. You can do it, Peter. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I need... What blood, blood is still four. Okay, and I get to re-roll... Oh, that's only for... I get to re-roll one for Mars. Okay, very good. And I got a few that missed. So I have seven left. To wound toughness. Toughness three. Strike three. I need fours. Oh, I see some ones and twos. Well, it looks like two hits. Okay. That can be enough to kill it. Uh, AP. Uh, zero. So four ups. Saved them both with two fives. Cool. Your attack's back. All right. We're actually going to do something a little fun. Uh, we've lost this objective. Um, so we're going to activate this unit to fight, pile in, and then use a stratagem. I don't use this stratagem often. It's not like super good, but it is kind of a fun one. It's called self destruction. It says, use this stratagem in the fight phase when a scare, canoptic scarab swarm unit from your army is selected to fight. Select one model from the unit after it's finished piling in. When you can select one enemy unit within engagement range of it, roll a d6. Here we go. And on a 2 through 5, the enemy unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. Oof. And then after that, the unit is destroyed. So, here we go. Whoa, one mortal. Dang it. I'll take that guy off. So not amazing, it's just kind of a fun little strat, but probably did more damage that way than I would have done normally. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. And uh, All right, um, they need to take morale test now, um, but they only lost one unit, and their leadership is seven, so it's on the pass. Okay. All right, we're now moving on to turn three. Oh, end of turn? Yeah, what did I score? Anything here? Well, I did not get hit in because I did not get that projective sticky, and no one's there. I uh, did not slay your warlord, and first strike is already done. So I scored nothing. Okay. Sounds good. So turn three. Yes. All right. Uh, what uh, what per uh, canticle now are we going to? Okay. Let's see here. We're gonna do uh, the, the protocol of the Undying Legions. So each time it uses its living metal ability, you can regain an additional one lost wound. And each time we do our reanimation rolls, we can reroll one of those dice. So that's what's going to be active for round three. All right, I'm not going to activate any of my doctrine imperatives because I don't think they're going to help me. <laughs> okay. Uh, because the other one takes away my ballistic skill but adds my weapon skill. I don't. I need my ballistic skill better than my weapon skill. And the other one improves my move but kills my save. So <laughs> I'm not going to do that either. All right. Uh, but I will. Act, the canticle I will active is sh Shroud Soul, um, which gives all my units light cover. Nice. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, we're going to go up to 2 CP, uh, we are going to do the same thing, I think. We're going to do Thy Will Be Done to the Warriors. Uh, we're also going to give them the invuln, because they're the only ones left. 
And then uh, let's do some movement, see if we can do some damage. Mm -hmm. Because of their relentless march ability, ooh, we're not going to be able to get on that objective. Interesting. Because the question is, are these assault weapons? No, they are a rapid fire weapon. So if we advance, we're not even going to be able to shoot at all. How unfortunate. Okay, so we're just going to move up into here. Trying to get close so we can get within half range for that rapid fire and also get the extra AP for being the Mephrit Dynasty. Alright. We're going to move this guy right here. Well, we're going to probably start getting in on this fight here. And I think we're going to advance with Chronomancer. I just want to double check. Yep, he's got an 8-inch movement. So let's go ahead and advance him. Hopefully we get something high here. So that's going to be 12. Perfect. We just want to be able to tag this objective. And I think what we're going to do is go right here. Stay behind that cover. Um, yeah. All right, we're looking good. Let's go with that. And then... Shooting. Shooting face. Here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left. So it's going to be 16 shots. All right. Hitting on twos. Oh, sorry. We're targeting the rangers here. Okay, those all hit. Strike four. We just drop the dice, so we'll pick up another one. Two plus three. All right, now threes. That one's. There we go. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dice. All right, minus two AP. Okay, minus two AP. We get uh, three up save. The black cover I received from Mechanical, so I need fives. Oh, I'm not too shabby. I saved five of them, so six bite the dust. Hmm. I'm take away the closest guys I possibly can. Alright, um, the only other guy we've got is going to be our Chromancer again. Um, he gets the D3 shots. Which guy? This guy? This guy, yeah. He's shooting him? He's going to shoot the Warlord over there. Um, he did advance, but it is an assault weapon. Minus one. Um, I only got one shot, which isn't fantastic. Yeah, let's go ahead and re-roll that number of attacks here. Two, a little better. Okay, two hitting on threes. Well, one of those hits. Uh, oh, no, it's minus one to hit. Uh, it's in dense cover. Oh, yeah, he is within that drain piece, so he doesn't get it. So no shots there. Okay. Uh, that's the end of the shooting. Um, let's go ahead and do some charges. What do you need? Um, looks like we need a six. Okay. Okay. We'll go less than that. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, an 11. 11 is going to kill me. That's great. Should be able to get everybody in here, I think. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, we're going to go there. Okay. We're going to go like that. We are also going to declare a charge on our Overlord here, who looks like he's going to need an 8. I want to try to get him out of there so he doesn't get shot. 7. Okay, seven. Not enough. Let's use our last CP and do a reroll there. Alright, no one's got CP. A 10. Aha. I'll do it. Alright, perfect. Okay. Um. No more charges. Let's go to the fight phase. We're going to activate the Overlord first. He has a Void Scythe. So 
So we've got how many attacks? We've got four attacks. Hitting on uh, toes. One of those is a miss. Strength is going to be times two. Uh, goes to ten. So we need two to wound. Okay, uh, we've got three wounds, and that is going to be three damage piece. Minus? Minus four. Minus four, okay. So they're in bold save, which is a six. I got one. So two guys die, one guy is still alive. Alright. Uh, we are going to pile in with our other guys here. We're going to go here, touch that base. Come in here. All right, looks like we can get six guys in there. Um, their skill is going to be a three up. Lots of ones there. Three hits. Three to one with the strength four. So three regular saves. Okay, he needs a four up. Oh, three misses. We so got he's gone. All right, and we are going to go ahead and consolidate into this tank here. Oof. So let's move our inches and touch in. We just don't want this guy shooting us. And that looks pretty good. Also, that consolidation gets us wholly within that tail porter. Okay. Huh? All right, well, uh, I get to do my attacks back. They aren't great. So here we go. I need uh, sixes to hit. I got one. <laughs> All by hmm, strength of six. So that's a wound to four. So one normal save. No, oh, when he kills the guy. <laughs> Very nice. Does he come back? Does he come back? No, he doesn't. Cool. <laughs> he just mowed him down. <laughs> All right, oh, that's good for something. All right. All right, end of turn. Um, two points on Birds of Vermin again. Uh, you have five points for your primary. Oh, yes, that's true. Um, and then Domination, we are going to score another three points. Hmm, racking up those points. Okay. Turn three, Adeptus Mechanicus. All right, well, my options are getting limited here. Um, I only control one, so I get five points for primary. Okay. And uh, yeah, I need to start controlling some stuff here. <laughs> so, um, I don't need to do the negative to talk in imperatives because there is no dark imperatives right now. Oof. So, uh, I'm going to uh, movement. I think the tank is going to stay right there. And I'm going to uh, advance my warlord three inches. Now get me on the terrain, but it won't give me much else to do except shoot. And uh, yeah, we'll go straight into shooting. My warlord, I believe, has an assault weapon, so we'll see if he can do anything. It's not a very good weapon. Alright, um, so yes, he's going to do a Radium Serpenta. He's more within range, but it's minus one, so he needs a three to hit. And he's targeting your dude there. Okay. And that's a miss with a two. Now I'm not going to bother with the CP. It's not very good. Alright. My tank is going to fire everything it has into those warriors. I cannot fire the missile launcher because those are blast weapons. But the, uh, the main gun is a heavy weapon. That's going to be negative one. So, here's the main gun. I need fours. Everything missed. Oh no. And yeah, this is going bad. Alright, so the stubbers now. Maybe they can do something. Let's see if I can weed him down. Not looking good. <laughs> Most of my shots missed. I got five left here. And that's nothing. I got nothing in the shooting round. Oh no. <laughs> Not good. Alright. Uh, I can't charge, so we're going to go to fight phase. You fight first. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and activate this unit. We're going to pile in here.
And we've got soda decks. So we'll hit on threes here. Yep. Drop and dice. Okay. Uh, take out the twos and ones. Toughness is seven. So five. Nada. Yeah, yeah, that's any <laughs> All right. slap ballast. My tank's right. going to take back. We get another six here. Yeah, we got one. Yep, one six. So, and then I need uh, straight six. So I need three. That's a five. Normal save. Okay. That is a wound. Okay, does he come back? Yes, he does. Okay. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Literal slap battle there. All right, end of the round. Um, I Again, I don't control this objective, it's contested, so um, no point score. Okay. Alright. Now, turn four. Okay. Uh, I'm going to activate Protocol of the Conquering Tyrant. Uh, the thing we're trying to do here is it lets my units be able to fall back and shoot with their ranged attacks. Uh, I just have to subtract one from the uh, hit roll. All right, well, I am going to activate the Doctrine Imperative. I'm going to improve my weapon skill characteristics of my model by one, but lower my ballistic skill. And uh, the can't is Litancy of Electromancer. While this can't is active, each time a melee attack is made against this unit, subtract one from the hit roll. Okay. Okay, go ahead. All right, I'm going to get through this pretty quick here. For yeah. scoring-wise, you've oh, yeah. got, you control two objectives, so you get 10, plus you do control more than me, so you get the full 15. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, command phase. Overlord's going to give thy will be done, so it's going to negate the minus one they have for shooting later. Um, he uh, can't give the invuln to himself because I don't believe he's a core uh, keyword. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's we'll go to movement. We're going to fall back one inch here. see these guys fight, don't we? Let's move here. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, we're going to call that good. Let's go to the shooting phase. Seven, so 14 shots. All right, hitting on threes. Oh, actually, we are going to spend a stratagem here for the sixes to auto wound for Gauss weapons. All right. One six, but only two misses. So we are going to need strength four, five, seven. Five. One, one. Oh, so we have two with the auto wonder. Two at what? Two at minus two. Two at minus two, he has a three of save, turns to five. One save, so one wound. One damage. Okay, he is down to 11. To chew through that guy. All right, here we go. Uh, we're gonna shoot with the Chronomancer over there. Okay. D3 shots. That's two shots. Hitting on threes, both hits. Um, strength of this weapon. What is your character still a toughness three? Toughness three. All right. Uh, strength five, so wounding on threes. Uh, that's one. We already used your CP. You are within half range, so that's gonna be a minus three AP. That's 3AP? Yep, one damage. All right, he has a 5-up in bowl. So. Um, also, uh, for the Eon stave, it says invulnerable saving throws cannot be made for this attack. Ooh, minus 3, you say? Yeah. And we, uh, yeah, no save. Damage? Uh, one. One. Okay. He is down to three wounds. Okay. Okay, charge phase. All right. Uh, we're going to charge all three models. So the Chronomancer into... Uh, your Warlord gets it with an 8. Uh, my Warlord, uh, no, actually we're going to do the Warriors. And Can they charge after falling back? Uh, oh. Do, 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 do. Protocol. Nope, it just lets them shoot. So we're going to go ahead and go with the Warlord, and we're going to shoot into there. Charge, you mean? Yeah, uh, exactly. Sorry. Uh, are you overwatching? 
thinking about it. He's thinking. How many wounds that guy have? He has, I believe it's five. He has a toughness six model from his war warlord. I trailer. will overwatch. Okay. Okay. So here is the first the main yeah, cannon. Yeah, five wounds. Okay, nothing on the main cannon. Missile launcher, how many shots? The dice. Three shots. Nothing on those. Now for the stubbers. Stubbers. Uh, nothing. So that was a waste. Okay. Go ahead. So we got four attacks. Is he charging? Oh yes, sorry. Good job. He's in. Yay, one inch charge. Okay, we're gonna activate uh, him first. Okay. He's got four attacks. Hitting on three twos. There's Hitting one. on threes. He has a minus one? Yeah, um, it's the cantle that's active. Oh, that's right. There we go. Uh, strength 10. So the seven threes. threes. Oh, it's a two and a one and we're out of CP. Beautiful. Okay. All right, my attack's back. Uh, that's nothing. So, good game. <laughs> All right, uh, over here, go ahead. Chronomancer with his Eon Stave. He only has one attack. Should have taken attack class, but it didn't matter. Uh, that's a hit. Double three. That's okay. not a wound. Okay, my attack's back. Starry Marshall, he has three attacks. He needs a three. Oh, sorry, he needs a three, a two, because of the uh, Doctrine Imperative that's activated. So all three hit. And he has a strength of six, so I need threes. Toughest? Uh, five. Yep, so I need threes. Oh, I'm sorry. I think that is a four, actually. It doesn't matter. Yep, toughest four. Okay, so two of those hit. Uh, two at minus two. Yeah, that's a four up and he saves it with a five and a six. Hmm, this is going to be a long game. All right. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna score it up. And go ahead. Two points for Birds Vermin, nothing on Engage, and three for Domination. I'm still scoring nothing here. <laughs> we got him locked down, I think. All right. All right. Go uh, for I it. score five points for my primary. Okay. Get a CP. In my command phase, um, he's gonna take away his negative to his ballistic skill of okay. his Doctor Imperative. And yeah, um, shooting. Um, the only thing I can shoot is the tank, he's gonna target your Warlord. Okay. Okay, the tank, uh, minus one to hit, so I need fours. Main cannon. And I have one CP, and I will spend that to re-roll one of those. Oh, uh, and the other one will be re-rolled for Mars. For Mars. And they both missed two. Oh, sadness. <laughs> okay, and then here's the main cannon. That's a wound. Minus three. He has a four pin vault. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Three damage. Ooh. And M2. Okay, and finally the stubbers. They need to hit on threes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um sorry, use the rerolls. And we'll see, I got a few hits. Toughness? Six. I need fives. Ooh, not too bad. Four at normal save. His normal save better than his angle. Three up. We saved all of them. Ah, I really need him to die. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'll be a good six points for you. All, all right. right. Um. All right. Let's go into combat. Um, I have no charges were made, so my opponent text first. Go ahead, choose a model. So we're gonna go with uh, our warlord here. Okay, go for it. Uh, four attacks. Got one one in there that's a miss. Minus on one to hit, but yeah, you got it. Yep. Uh, we got two wounds at uh, minus four. Minus four, no save, damage. Three damage apiece. Oof. So he is down to five. All right. Okay, over here. Um, I'm gonna choose my guy over here. So three attacks. Hit on twos. Uh, one for Mars. Uh, still misses. Okay, and uh, one at minus two. 
Okay, so he's four up pinball. He's got it. Okay, this is not happening. <laughs> These guys are just gonna do generally yeah. fight here because I've got one attack that hits and does not wound. Cool, good, good story. <laughs> All right, end of the phase. I still score nothing. <laughs> okay. Last round. Okay. Or not last round, sorry. Next, yeah, it is the last round. Yep. Uh, protocol of the Eternal Guardian. Not really going to matter for this round. Not really going to get any benefits of that. I'm not doing any Doctor Imperatives, but I am doing um, Laws Cancels Active. Each time a model in the unit makes a melee attack, add one to the strength. Okay. So, your movement. <laughs> What do we want to do? We're going to do that will be done here. Okay. Uh, these guys are going to move six inches this way. Not going to advance? Oh, you scored the other 15 points. Uh, 15 for primary. Mark that down here. Uh, And our Chronomancer is going to fall back. So you can be shot at. Oh, joy. Alright, that's it. Let's go to shooting phase. We've got seven shots targeting your Warlord there. Um, we are going to spend our one stratagem that we would gain this turn for sixes to do an additional hit. Okay, here we go. Uh, two misses. One six. So we're going to throw one dice back in there. Strength four, toughness three, threes. Oh, two wounds at minus one AP because you're not within half range. Okay, that uh, is a five up. Nope, nothing. So okay. he's down to one. Oh, he's so close. Uh, but we're not going to get him, unfortunately. Okay, uh, go ahead and go to the fight phase, and your tank gets to fight first. Okay, um, he's down to five wounds, so he is bracketed. Down to, okay, I get D3 attacks. I get two attacks. And I need sixes. And I get nothing. Okay, your turn. Uh, all right. Uh, I did I did forget uh, he does have living metal. He should just regain this automatically. There to three. All right, uh, four attacks. Okay, I'll hit. Uh, threes to wound. Okay, we have three dice. Uh, minus four AP. Damage each. Three APs. Okay, does he explode? He does not. Okay. He is gone. And that is going to be, can I consolidate? No. Nope. We're just going to consolidate a little bit back. Just All right, uh, my turn. Well, this will be a very short turn. Um, my warlord is going to shoot. He's not even going to move. He's just going to shoot at that guy. I uh, scored five points still. And, okay, so uh, here's the one shot. And it's a miss. I'm going to reroll it from Mars. And uh, two. That does hit, though. Okay. Strength three. Yep. Tough this. Nope, not going to do it. Okay. Um, charges. He's going to charge into that guy. Two. I got double ones, and that's going to do it. <laughs> he still makes it. <laughs> okay. All right, see if you can do it. If right. you do take that objective, it's points at the end of the game. It is. It's not going to be enough, but it'll be fun. All right. And all three do hit, and I have strength of four to seven. So I can do any three. I'm going to use my one reroll to reroll that one I missed. And it's not going to do anything. So, two at minus two. Two at minus two is going to be this invuln here. Uh, saves one, misses the other. How much damage are we doing? Uh, one. One. So he's going to go down to three. Ah. Uh, okay. All right, that's the end of my phase. I don't score anything else. So, and I don't control the objective of the end of the game. Bummer. All, All right. right. Let's score it up here. It uh, looks like Admech scored 20 points for their primary. We scored 40. Um, and on secondaries, it looks like 
uh, seven uh, total. Five for your first strike and two for your hidden uh, Archeo Vault. So we've got 27 plus 10 for being fully painted. Uh, that's going to be a 37. Okay. And then we got 40 on primary for neck rounds plus uh, 26 secondaries. Uh, so 10 for painted. 10 for being painted. It looks like we've got a 76. All right. All right. Well, Final score is Adnac with 37 and Necrons with 76. Clear victory for the Adnac. All right. Good job. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for being with us this battle report. Uh, Necrons came out victorious on top in this battle. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty good fight. Yeah. Final score. 76 versus 37. 37. 76 versus 37. Definitely a uh, major victory for the Necrons. Ah, tough ones. <laughs> I like these little combat patrol games because uh, they could be very swingy. Um, one kind of really important fight or one shooting can really kind of affect the game because you have a lot less units. Um, but they're a great way to do a really quick, fast game and get started. Uh, and that's what we kind of wanted to do for you today, was just show how these little combat patrols work. So what do you think the um, deciding factor of this game was for your army? You know, uh, I usually bank on Necron sticking around and having that reanimation roll, and that's kind of like what I really stick on most of the time. But this time, I think the mortal wounds were really important in this game for both sides of our armies, actually. So on uh, round one, we shot with these uh, death marks, um, and we did a lot of mortal wounds. I think it was four in addition to the seven wound rolls that they did. Um, and I think those wound rolls really did a really big punch. Um, and you saw something very similar with your uh, rust, uh, rust walkers there. They also yes. did quite a few mortal wounds. That was definitely a surprising move. Um, your uh, destroyers versus my rust walkers. My rust walkers definitely came out on top. Yeah. So it just kind of goes to show how important mortal wounds are in this game. And I think that was one of the really big factors. Um, yeah. Yep. Um, I believe that was pretty critical, that fight phase right there. It definitely split it up. Um, for me, my uh, deciding factor for positive was that I took out those destroyers right off the bat, getting that territory, making him have to split up. Uh, unfortunately, um, the big problem was the same unit, the Rust Walkers. I put them nicely in cover to benefit from their plus two to light cover. Um, but he took away that light cover with his special army ability, thus letting them bear out in the open for a full assault with his warriors. And I think that was the big thing that killed me, losing those Rust Walkers, because now he could concentrate fully on the other side of the board, wiping the rest of my units out. Yeah, uh, Mefred Dynasty is also really good. At that point, his army was in within half range, kind of giving me that extra AP as well. Um, and I think that with no cover, you know, it's really, really, really strong. Um, a lot of people are choosing the Relentless Expansionists. Uh, then you get extra move and extra obsec. Uh, but Mefred can be pretty strong if you've got the shooting to support it. So. Yep, um, I chose Mars this game, and Mars was uh, definitely a good one to do. I forgot a few of the rerolls when I was doing them, but um, having a free reroll for every unit on every one reroll for hits in the shooting and combat is very nice. You don't have to use it, really any of your command points for rerolls. I did first few of them just because I was missing two critical shots rather than one. But um, I think this army would be good for a good rematch. Um, I don't think I could have done anything different. He, uh, he played his abilities well, that caught my guys off guard, and that uh, sealed my fate. All right. Is there an MVP of your army that you would pick that you liked the most in this battle? Hmm. Well, I'd have to say my ranger unit did the most. Um, a close second would be my rust walkers. I just didn't like the fact that they only lasted one turn. Um, but the uh, rangers definitely came out there. They. Uh, they're not particularly good at combat, and the fact they were able to get out there, shoot, and do some combat, and kill some guys was really nice. Um, there weren't many guys to kill, but any kills are better than no kills. And yeah. it got me some uh, points out of it. Yeah. Anybody in your army that maybe didn't do exactly what you were thinking to, or maybe that you'd switch out for next time? 
Um, it's a it's a tough pick. Um, for a combat patrol, this is probably really good. Um, I might have to get rid of uh, my uh, Vanguard or my Rangers and switch them out for something that could pack a little more punch or maybe stand up to a little bit more damage. Uh, I am excited that the new rules will allow my uh, Vanguard and Rangers to have a 5 plus invul, and I think that'll make them a little bit more tanky. For sure. But uh, we weren't playing those this game, we were just playing it right off out of the books. Yeah. Uh, for my army, um, I think my MVP, it's a pretty close call between the Warlord here and the Death Marks, uh, but I think I'm going to have to give it to the Death Marks. Um, a lot of people underrate these units, but I just love them. Um, in bigger battles, you can really snipe out a lot of characters. He hid his Warlord well pretty much most of the game and didn't make that an option. And by the time he did come out, they were gone. Uh, but once again, those mortal wounds on the Synaptic Disintegrators, uh, really good. Uh, don't always happen, but when they do, uh, it's just icing on top of the cake. Um, model that didn't perform uh, as well, or that I might replace, uh, was probably the Chronomancer. Um, you know, he's only got one attack. Uh, his shooting weapon isn't amazing. So in these smaller fights like that, I mean, we can maybe replace him with the Royal Warden or uh, different, different crypt tech that might do a little bit more damage. Um, in definitely in 2,000 point armies, he's a staple because he gives out those five up and bones. But uh, in the Compact Patrol, it didn't perform as, as highly as I usually uh, see in him. So uh, that's how I'm going to have to rate that for this battle. Indeed. And um, I'm excited for another rematch. Maybe we'll switch things up. Maybe we'll add a few more points. But uh, it was a good game. Very even. Very. Uh, one way or the other, and uh, it was exciting. But uh, after that second and third turn, there was no hope for me. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today with us. Um, really appreciate you guys. Um, please like and subscribe. That really helps us out and helps us to be able to make more, video, more videos for you guys with some more armies. And there's going to be more uh, battle reports coming. Uh, so keep watching, and thank you so much.